It's all about your health. That's why we're always here on Dove Television to let you know that your health is very important to us. Eat at the right time. Yes, take your breakfast. Always be ensure that whenever you're leaving the house, you have something to fill your tummy. It's good to eat in the morning. Drink lots of water. Try as much as possible to take uh, water, you know, in as much as you can, you know, sleep, wake up in the morning. You drink lots of water. Exercise is also very important for everyone out there watching us all over the world. Make sure you always have that walk, that five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes walk. It's very important. All this and many more we do here on Healthy Living. I'm not here alone, but I have my special guest here with us in the house. Before I introduce our guest, I would like you to know that Dove Television is on all social networks. Like us on Facebook, tweet at us, get to watch exciting edition of Healthy Living and all the great fantastic program on our YouTube channel. Be part of Dove Television family and God will continue to bless you and your family. And just to in case you have a product you wish to advertise on our channel, feel free to call us. Just, you know, press the button right there and we'll be there to help you and pull you through. Or if God has laid it in your heart to sponsor any of our program, please kindly do that. God will continue to bless you and your families in Jesus' name. All right. It's good to be here and it's good to be on Healthy Living. We have Dr. Chris Williams with us in the house. It's good to have Dr. Chris. Thank you, thank you so much for thank coming you, and thank you for taking your time to come on Healthy Living. Thank you. We would like to proceed because I know today is a very important day and mm. um, also the world else has uh, declared a one week uh, immunization to get a wow. uh, vaccine. Mm. I was listening to the radio this mm. morning mm. and um, I was, you know, while the discussion was going on mm. that uh, people should try as much as possible to go out there to get um, vaccinated. Um, vaccine, to be vaccinated. Also try as much as possible to make sure your child is being, uh, having that immunization mm. uh, in her, I, you know, so because I know a lot of people are trying to get scared away from me that, oh, I, why would I want to go and take this vaccine? For what reason? Mm. That? Well, the reason is best known to individual, but mm. whatever the government is saying, WHO, that's the World Health Organization is saying that we should try as much as possible. This is a free vaccine. It's not something they say you should come and pay for, but mm. do the necessary thing so that we don't get stuck in the middle. All right, we'd like Dr. Chris Williams to please lead us in a short prayer while we proceed on today's program. Thank you. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for the gift of today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of healthy living. Thank you as we commit today's edition in your hands and we ask your breath and your power on it so that it will be able to bring healing to your people. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. Hallelujah. I also have an information here which I would like to also read out that we'll be having the broadcast of the commissioning of Aki uh, Paaki Dayomi Adeboye Intensive Care Unit at uh, the University of Medical Science Teaching Hospital Complex, Elijah Road, Undo State. That will be coming up shortly after our healthy living. So please just kindly glue to us and God bless you. We're looking at the topic that is quite interesting, um, attention deficit hyperactivity activity disorder. disorder. That's the ADHD. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. <laughs> yes, Dr. Chris. You know, I asked you something. I yeah. said, why are, we, why are we talking about this topic? And he said, some children are hyper. Not mm. even children. Mm. Now, it also involves yeah. adults. Mm. So, sir, uh, can we get to know what this uh, is so all about? So, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, the reason we, I thought we should discuss it, it's number one, it's increasing. Even though uh, many more children these days are found to be act, uh, hyperactive, uh, even though uh, some of the hyperactivity we see in children uh, it can, does not fall under what we want to discuss today, but it's increasing. And like I told you, if you see any child that is suffering it, you will pity the parents. You will pity the people who are around that child because it's a whole lot of work. Okay, so um, there are three types, um, three varieties of it. There's one that comes with, um, there's um, attention deficit disorder that comes with inattentiveness. The child cannot pay attention. Mm. That's one. There's another one that comes with hyperactivity. I mean, they jump a lot. They can't sit in one place. And um, um, they, it comes with hyperactivity and impulsiveness. They are impulsive. 
Okay, and then number three is some come both with inattentiveness, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. Okay, um, it occurs three times more in boys mm. than in girls. Mm. And then it has been known some ch children outgrow it. Okay, or at least the signs and symptoms uh, reduce as adult as the child is growing into an adulthood. But there are some persons who escape, uh, in whom it escapes into their adulthood. And when you see ADHD in, in our adulthood, it's not nice at all, because um, um, the person will have a whole lot of um, uh, uh, social disconnection uh, from the society. Mm. Now, what are the risk factors? Because our time is very limited today. Anxiety, anxiety in a child, stress in a child, allergies. This is very important. Allergies. Uh, allergies to different kinds of food, to sugars, to, to, uh, uh, to uh, meat products, to milk, to dairy products, mm. to flowers, allergies generally, and then also so pollutions in the air, stress in the air. Also smoking in the pregnant woman can cause it. And then if the child didn't breathe on time, in other words, they were deprived of oxygen while growing up, it can be a cause. Femi, this is important. Mm. Watching too much TV, making a child watch too much TV between age one and three. Yes. And you know, when I saw that, I said, wow, no wonder this thing is increasing. Now we have mommies who are very busy. They are working mothers. They are very busy. Many of them do not have helpers. So the idea that many women do uh, have is they will sit the child in front of a television, even from age one, and then the child will be moping, even though he can't understand. Children like the, the movements and all that. It has been found, research has shown that sometimes that uh, the fast-paced uh, movements in the cartoons that you are making the child uh, watch between age one and three can rewire the, the child's brain. Okay. 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 So maybe it's one of the reasons why it's on the increase. Hereditary can also be a, a risk factor. Yes. If a sibling, if a child has it, the siblings have twenty percent chances mm. of also having it. And then we've talked about diet, preservatives in food, colorings in foods, um, um, sweet things, gluten containing foods phosphorus containing foods, all this can cause it, okay? Now, so how do you tell it? How do you tell that this is ADHD? Uh, um, clinicians, if you have six symptoms of the inattentiveness or six symptoms of the hyperactivity, they say the child has it. What are the symptoms of inattentiveness? I'll just run through it. No, no attention to details. The child can't be uh, attentive to details. They have trouble keeping attention on activities. They do not seem to listen when you are talking to them. They do not seem to listen when you are talking to them. Um, they do not follow uh, uh, through on tax given to them. For instance, if you ask a child to bring me that, uh, if you ask a child, to bring me um, that uh, whatever it is uh, and just over there the child goes there and then between picking that ball and bringing it here the child has forgotten he can't successfully go bring that and bring it here he will pick he might on the way detour to do some other things or pick the ball on the way coming he can do other things okay. so they can finish activities okay uh, difficulty also Difficulties Difficulty in uh, organizing tax, but it's there. And then also this child dislikes class. They can't sit down in the class at all. They can't sit down in the class to, to listen. They are easily distracted. They are forgetful in daily activities. Uh, now, um, symptoms of uh, hyperactivity. The child fidgets. If you see a typical child, they, 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 their aunt sometimes always want to be doing something. They can be doing this all day. Or any time they are in a sitting position, they are doing this or they are playing with something. I know one child, if she comes to you, she will take your finger and be doing like this. It's a, or if nobody is there, she can take anything that is around and take it and just be flicking her finger like this. It's a constant motion. Mm. that she keeps so parents doing. should get mm. yeah so these are, the, these are the ways you tell it okay, okay? so i uh, was talking about symptoms of inactivity they they cannot sit down when sitting is necessary for instance if they are in uh, 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 the children's church they can't sit down 
when others are sitting down. Even if it's for five minutes, they cannot sit down. If it's in class, he cannot sit down. You get reports that that child cannot sit down. The child feels restless. They run all over the place. I first saw this case, or I first learned about this case, when we were in medical school in year three then, we were in a clinic, uh, in a professor's room. She was showing us and teaching us. And then she said, uh, uh, students, pay attention to this uh, child that is coming in next. So a woman comes in with a child and sits down. And she has not finished sitting down. The that child, child pounds on the professor's table, pull this, pull that, pull that, pull that, pull that. So it was tough, even uh, clacking that child. And then, so the professor, when they left, said, so what did you see? No, no, not after they left. Immediately after, like, five minutes, he said, so what can you see? So we said, this child is too, is too uh, stubborn or something. Said, no, this is not stubbornness. There's an issue here. That child will pick this in one second and then pick this in another second and pick this in another second. That is not normal. Children normally are restless, but not every minute is changing activities. Okay. Almost every other half minute is changing activity. Pick this one, pick this one, pick this one. So it's a child, it's a sign of hyperactivity. Difficulty in taking part in leisure activities. They are always on the go. If you take them out, if you are not watching them 24 7, it can run away and run off. Hmm. Okay? I, 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 um, I've seen another child uh, like three or four times. Uh, they, they, they have gone to bring her from uh, the road where she has run to, you know, and all that. She doesn't do that again now, but uh, she's uh, uh, something like that. Okay, talk successively. Another thing is before they interject, if you are asking them a question, for instance, what is your, before you finish your name, she has said another thing. She will not wait to listen to the question, sink it, and then re respond. She's like that. Or when People, if you are eating, for instance, a child runs to you and puts hand in your food. Mm. That's not child, child, childishness. That is not childishness. Or to grab whatever you are doing. Or say, we are sitting in, an, in, in a service. The children are there, maybe in a midweek service. And then the child runs up to the altar during service. All those children are seated. Those are signs that something oh is not very correct. Mm. So all the things we talk about, if they have continued for six months, that child may be dealing with ADHD. Okay. Now, now, before you, yes. you, you say the next uh, yes. um, uh, word, now I just want viewers to know that we will not be going on any break for now because okay. I know we have a whole lot to talk about it. Yeah. We might even come in our next edition to also say, uh, talk about the same topic. So mm. for now, let's just pay attention. And when it's time to pick calls, I'll uh, also let you know that you can call in to ask questions. Thank you and God bless you. Okay, okay sir. thank you, Femi. So what to know first and foremost is know that this is not ordinary stubbornness. The, okay, there's a particular child in our church like that. That, that, that's the, that's, that are from that child, I've learned so much about this condition. Initially, people will beat her, do this, do all kinds oh. of things. And then after some time, it dawned on everybody that this is not ordinary stubbornness. So the first thing to do is understand that it's not ordinary stubbornness. You cannot beat it out of the child. It's not, um, uh, the child needs help. Okay, it's, I want to ask, yes. you know we've been talking about child, yes. and I've seen cases whereby you have adults oh, or yes. teenagers too, in, in, in the same in, range oh, like that. I, Femi, I saw one recently, uh, and it, it made me nearly cry. That man brought the child, uh, the man, man, actually, 21 years thereabout. He struggled, hardly finished school. He, that secondary school, they changed it for him like three times before he eventually finished. Jesus. He said he wants to play football. And then um, they registered him in one of the academies. I think maybe back academy. He didn't stay like four months there. He left. Uh, says he wants to do this. They will invest money and all that. So that's a classical example of, of ADD with inattentiveness. Uh, in the, um, the man's father's uh, uh, words, my son gets very easily bored. Hmm. So he, she, if he does something for three months, that's the end. He cannot continue to do it. Uh, so in adulthood, you see that kind of person get involved. They, they can't keep relationships. They can't okay. keep whether love relationship or work relationship or marketplace relationship, they can't keep it. And then if they eventually get married, they may have issues like infidelity. 
Okay. Because staying in with one person, it's very difficult. They may have issues with, with drugs. They may have issues with changing of jobs or keeping their jobs. Uh, they may have issues with uh, trying to finish school or not. So it does enter into adulthood, but thankfully, um, just about 30% to 60% mm. um, still have it into adulthood. Most children, about like, maybe like 40% uh, to another uh, whatever percent, uh, as they are growing up, all those things, it, it, it reduces. Mm. They may still have traces here and there. And, uh, uh, but they will be able to control it themselves. So we're talking about managing. Know that this child needs help. Number two, don't be tired. I'm talking to the parents now. Try not to be tired. It's a lot of work, but try not to be tired. Try not to give up. Then try to see that that child gets from form of education. Mm -hmm. Educating them will involve uh, a, a getting a therapist. Mm -hmm. It will also involve getting registering them in some special school because there are some special schools. Try, God will help you, try to register them. What many parents do with such children is because he doesn't want to school, uh, uh, go and learn. The, the child cannot learn a trade, he can't go to school. So they just abandon the child. Mm. Try as much as possible. And then you can also use reward systems. Okay. If the child gets something right, you promise them a reward and you go ahead to do it. Be firm, though. We have said uh, don't keep beating them, but be firm. Okay, the firmness can also help. Mm. They are a bit, they tend to be very heady okay. because they think they, they know everything. Okay, uh, but if you are also firm and tough, not physically, you are tough, you, will, you can't have it. You can't have this thing. No, you can't. They can ask all, up to 100 times. You two, you refuse 101 times. <laughs> it's a way of training them. Other children, if you say you can't have it once, say it twice. They know that mommy cannot, doesn't want to give me that thing. This one, from where you stopped yesterday, you continue today. You can't have it. You can't have it. She has forgotten or he has forgotten. Okay. But after some time, they will get used to it. Okay. And then food also. We said allergies cause it. So um, you need to watch that child. There are some foods that they eat that they are reacting to. Hmm. Well, different foods are different for different children, okay? But some of the ones that are common, uh, common are uh, sweet foods, for instance, hmm. sugars. Okay. Even normal children, when they take uh, fuzzy drinks, they, they tend to be hyperactive. Ma most parents know this. Hmm. Now, so in a patient or a child with ADHD, you don't want fuzzy drinks to be around them. Not mm. even within one mile, their mm. range. Mm. Or sweet things, sweet fruits and all that, you want to take it away. You want to also keep them from eating foods that are made from flour. Any food made from flour. Spaghetti, macaroni, noodles, all, or, and all these uh, fry fry things. Remove it from their, their food, food also. And then also reduce their animal proteins. Animal proteins contain phosphorus. And foods that contain phosphorus are, mm. have been known by research to be foods that, mm. that um, ADHD people react to. All right, so that's by way of food. We've said that TV can cause it. So in that, in that it, I, I, my heart goes out to parents because a woman is in the house, she's taking care of two children or three children. She has to, maybe she's walking from home. She has to find something to busy the children. So what many women or parents do is they busy the children with cartoons. Those things are not the best for those children. Okay. Uh, number one, it instills violence into them. You know, all that they want to fly, they want to be like um, that man that wears marks and flies. We don't want to mention uh, names. Uh, 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 all manners of things, they want mm. to be like that. So mm. you want to reduce their exposure to such mm. things. They want okay. to be all those superheroes. Yes, those, those are the ones I'm talking about. Mm. They want to uh, like be superheroes. Okay, so some supplements can help. It's difficult to get uh, liquid supplements for children, but when you can get it, it's good. Some supplements like omega, omega-3. Any supplement that contains omega-3 can help. Omega-3 helps brain function. Any supplement that contains uh, mm. magnesium can help. Magnesium mm. helps to calm you down. Any supplements that contains gamma amino butyric acid, popularly called GABA, mm. can also help. Quercetin can help, mm. okay? And then there are some herbs. Uh, ginkgo biloba helps brain 
development. Mm. Um, um, chamomile. Chamomile is a tea and is obtainable in all in supermarkets. Okay. If you go and ask for chamomile tea, if you can make that child be drinking that tea regularly, chamomile, chamomile is a caminative. It calms you down. Okay. It calms you down. It can help to calm you down. Not drowsy. It, it will not, it's not like psychotic drugs that will make the child drowsy, but you keep the person calm. Magnesium will keep the person relaxed. Anything that will help this child to be more calm mm. will help them to learn more. Okay. It's because they are over everywhere. That's mm. why the learning for them is difficult. Some of them can be in one class for four years. Mm. Yes, I've seen some, some that uh, is 10 years and is still learning ABC. He, and the ABC is learning, he has not gotten to E. Oh After God. E, he, he, he gets confused. It's a big thing. Mm. Okay? And then, um, of course, as Christians, there's the place of uh, 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 um, using what we have that's available to us spiritually. I usually advise this. Uh, get in the habit of laying hands on that child and prophesying over that child. And then make a simple confession. Teach it to them. Let them be saying it. Be saying it along with them. The word of God says that you shall have whatsoever you, 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 you say. Mm. Uh, especially if you continue to say it. Mm. Some of the very known names around the world today uh, were ADHD uh, 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 children. But as they were growing, something happened to them that make them uh, to be more stable and then um, they can live a good life okay lastly okay. Uh, yeah before you yeah. will, will make that um, statement the yeah. last uh, not last level yeah. i know we still have some information yeah. uh viewers that might want to call or you know ask question i think this is the high time they pick their phone and yeah. dial the number uh that will be showing showing on their tv screen get to call us but remember to tell us your name and where this call is coming from Call us, tell us your name and where the call is coming from. Thank you so much and God bless you. All right, uh, sir, yes, you're about to say something. Yes, yeah, so and, uh, food. So we have said remove these foods that cause allergies. The foods that can help them are plant protein foods, beans, soya beans. I'm talking about plant protein foods now. Um, quinoa, chia seeds, sesame seeds, acha, millet, all these grains contain, uh, they are high in protein. The only grain you should remove is wheat, okay? Uh, anything that, will, that increases plant pro that has increased plant protein will help them. You need to reduce their carbohydrate intake because carbohydrates turns into glucose in the body. Okay. And when they have plenty of glucose, it can make them to be all over the place. Okay, so okay? Uh, also um, now I, I want us to look the aspect of adults. Yes. You know, we've talked about, we've emphasized so much on, on children. children yes. On adults in your workplace, mm. how would you, you know, identify such a person? Okay. So, uh, oh, they, they are identifiable. Mm. They are identifiable. Number one, many adults, some adults that this thing is, uh, um, um, that are battling this, may not even make it out of school. But when they do, if they are there, you will notice that ah, this guy is not, a, is a bit here and there. It's not that balanced. Okay. What to do is uh, understand that person. And then for the person himself, understand yourself. You are battling something. So if you use the wisdom of the word of God uh, to uh, achieve self-control, you, you, you will be able to, to do it better. Okay? You, 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 you just go for self-control. Sometimes you just get... Maybe you got a job after two years of searching or more years of searching only three months ago and all of a sudden something within you doesn't want to go to work again. Mm. You, uh, then you know uh, this is this thing that I'm badly know. Okay. Keep going there and then so that uh, you will have a good social life. Yes. Uh, we have a call. Adigo from Lagos. Hello. 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 I'm on the... Yes. I'm here, you know. Yes, you are. Please go ahead. Okay. I want to ask the doctor if um, a child is still willing, is still wet in the bed, is still willing at home, and if they already made a day of 13, 14 years, what can we do to that? All right. Thank you so much. Mark. Okay. Yes. Uh, there are a couple of things mm. that can cause a child to be willing at that, at that age. Number one, it can be... Um, 
problem in their bladder, maybe too small a bladder, or infection in the bladder, okay, or infection in the urinary tract. Um, so they need to be investigated. Their urine needs to be checked to ensure that there's no infection in the bladder. Okay, also, um, maybe he's, they're having spiritual, uh, not spiritual, dream things. They're having a nightmare, that's the word. They're having some kind of nightmares or whatever. It needs to also be investigated. And then it can be um, also um, psychological. Maybe they are being abused. It don't such or they're abusing somebody, all those things need to be investigated. Mm -hmm. However, that child is battling something, we need to sit him down. The doctor needs to do his part, the psychologist needs to do his part. What I can tell you is not the solution, is beating that child. Mm -hmm. the, don't go beating, 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 beating. The mm -hmm. child himself doesn't like it. And then don't put them to shame. But after some time with God and with prayers, that, that child can come out of it. All right, we have another call. We have uh, Chidima. Please, let's have Chidima. Thank you. All right, please, can we allow uh, the caller to go off? Thank you. I think you're trying to listen to your television set. Please don't do that. Kindly call us back, um, Chidema, and uh, we'll be glad to have you on board. All right, uh, so we have we, more information Yes, yeah, so we're with. talking about some um, uh, herbs that can help to calm this person down. We talked about chamomile. Another herb is valerian root. Another herb is passion flower. Okay. Can we find all of this? Yes, in yes. Chamomile is everywhere. Uh, passion flower, you can, if you walk into a supermarket and you can see, usually they will write something like relaxing tea or uh, sleep well or something. These are supplements. You can't get addicted to them. Mm. Just take it as you take normal tea and then let the child take it also. It will calm them down. Mm. Okay? While you are giving them the omega-3 for the brain uh, or more, more commonly known as cod liver oil, uh, you are giving uh, that child uh, and then you are helping to develop the brain. Any preparation with ginkgo biloba will also uh, help in developing the child's brain. Hmm. 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 All right. Uh, someone sent a message that uh, she has a five-year-old daughter that yeah. doesn't sit. Most times she's always getting up to do one thing or the other. Hmm. Is she part of this? Of well, uh, uh, by ju what, just what you said now, we, we will not be able to say whether it is ADHD. But if that has stood out to you and you are concerned about it, maybe it is. So what to do is see a doctor and then they'll be able to say, okay, this is ADHD. Mm. Because there's no lab test anywhere that mm. they can do. Uh, neither can they do any scan anywhere that will show activity in the brain, uh, mm. that uh, anything. Okay, so it has to be, it's almost a diagnosis of exclusion. Diagnosis of exclusion means we'll remove some other things that may be causing it, and then we'll say maybe this is what is wrong with this child. All right, we have another mm. uh, call. We mm. have our same caller, Chidema from Lagos. Hello. 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 Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. I think she's listening to our television. Please kindly don't do that. Kindly don't do that, please. Um, always, uh, you know, mute the volume on your TV set so that we can hear you loud and clear. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you. You, you know, I was talking about the place of faith and prayers. Now, uh, I don't want somebody to misunderstand me. Um, mm. Some people will go to their center of carrying the child everywhere for deliverance and then they'll do all <laughs> manners of things. That's not what I'm saying. For <laughs> simple confessing. I told you there's a, 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 a girl like that. She's growing now in our church. And you know, I like what her mom will do. Every time that the girl is misbehaving, she, it has become a habit. You hear her say, you're a blessed child. You're a blessed child. You are wonderful. She said, from time uh, regularly she would lay hands on her and profess her over and that child is coming up mm. i mean it was she was the one i said that three different times somebody would just bring her from outside that is this girl not from this this church wow. we saw her she was wandering away oh my god three different times another time near a car nearly eat her and all that but she's coming up now and and they are doing therapy all these things i talked about all together are happening it's a tall one it's a tall one but that girl, uh, we have seen a good testimony 
uh, out of our life. And I think that can also be like that for your children. Okay. Yeah. All right, we have another text. Uh, someone is saying that um, he's a grown-up man yes. uh, between the age of 35 to 40. Yeah. But he noticed that whenever he's in any organization to work, he doesn't mm. last more than six months. Well, what should I do in this case? <laughs> well, number one, you need to sit down and diagnose what the problem is. It may be this, it may be another thing. It may be another thing. Some people just normally cannot, um, they, 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 can, they get easily bored. So you need to do a self-diagnosis or talk to your pastor or see a Christian psychologist. Tell mm -hmm. them, by the time they stray your life, they will be able to say maybe this is what is going on or that's what's going on. But it's a very, very bad thing not to be able to keep a job mm. because one can never really excel if it's not consistent. In consistency, somebody said, is power. We'll come back yes. to you, is power. We have Jeanette from Lagos. Hello, Jeanette. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Yes, please go ahead with your question. Okay. My question is, um, uh, I have this um, challenge of uh, forgetting things easily. Okay. Now, not, it wasn't like that before. So, like now, maybe I, I am discussing with somebody, all of a sudden, Hello, we so can hear you. I, oh, and so I do forget, um, I do forget things easily now. It wasn't like that before. How old are you? I'm 41. Okay. All right, thank you so much for calling. One, Just please listen. One of the causes of forgetfulness, mm. it's um, several causes. Okay. It can be stress, mm. unabated stress. It can also be something going on in the brain, maybe some plaques forming in the, the, the brain there. And then it can be depression. It can be outright Alzheimer's disease trying to develop. We have, we have treated Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. Okay, so um, thank God you are realizing it. You need to stand up to it. Number one, change your diet. Reduce animal protein significantly. Uh, all these uh, foods that we keep saying people should uh, stay away from eating sweet things, reduce it significantly. And then take supplements like omega-3, like ginkgo biloba, like zinc, things that help the brain. There's one called acetylcholine, acetylcholine. And rosemary, rosemary is a plant and you can, uh, you can get, buy rosemary in about every supermarket. It's very good for the brain. It's very good for, the, for memory. Hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you. We have Fumilaya from Abuja. Hello, Fumilaya. Hello. Hello. Yes, please go ahead with your question. Thank you for calling. Good morning. Morning. I have a question. Okay, I please have go a ahead. I child of four years old class. A daughter. Hmm. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. I have a daughter of four years old. And she's brilliant. Hmm. But the problem is she doesn't stay in one place. She moves up and down. And whenever we are, they are in the class, hmm. she would be the one to be handshake with the And she, her mind or her attention was not towards the place. So I don't understand. Is she? Hmm. Is she? Uh, uh, I see for what? I don't really understand because she doesn't sit in the place. Even in the church. When we are in the church, she will just be moving up and down. After the service, she will be the one to be calling mommy pray. In Jesus' name, Father, Holy Ghost, Father, all those things that we have been doing, she will be seeing the thing. As in, like, we cast everything back. I don't know what to do about that. How old is the child? How old is your child, ma'am? Four. Ma? four. He's four years old, four. Okay. So, just uh, four please, mommy, see a doctor with mm. that child. Let us see Hello? a doctor. A doctor will be able to tell you this is ADHD. And then there are some orthodox drugs also they can write that help to okay. uh, build the brain. Okay, I want us to just quickly take some questions because yes. we have lots of them. What drinks can replace the juice that takes to school daily? What kind of drink or what can we do to replace? Maybe a drink like a carrot juice can replace because you also want to stay away from drinks that are too sweet. Okay. But carrot uh, juice can do. Okay, what causes if a child's heart is beating very fast? Uh, that's uh, the child has a cardiomyopathy, a heart problem. See a doctor. Mm. See a pediatrician. Okay, sir. Uh, what causes yellow dots on the skin and pimples? What is the solution? 
creams, herbs that can be used? What's the best solution I, for I this? I do not know about uh, uh, yellow dot, but yellow pimples, <laughs> maybe stress or maybe the age, maybe hmm. constipation. If you treat constipation and you change your diet, uh, you, you, the pimples may stop coming. All right, somebody asked a question uh, that uh, reoccurrence of boil in the armpit. Mm. Uh, she has taken antibiotics, your, but your, it keeps your, coming your back. Your immunity is low. You need to show up your immunity, zinc, fish oil, uh, ubiquin. This will help you to take ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. All right. Mm. Uh, hello, doctor. Great job, the presenter and the doctor over there. Please, the sun is three plus and has speech speech delay Deficit. what can i give him okay good number one be working with a speech therapy is very important mm -hmm. uh, maybe also if you see a neurologist they will help and then all these things that we're talking about that help to build the brain can actually also help the speech all right we'll take this hello doctor how can a teenager that performs averagely at school always sleep off when reading but alive when watching films rachel from milori we'll go back to the question we have blessing from photocot hello blessing hello hello all right thank you please go ahead with your question you're listening to your television please don't do that my question is hello please uh hello? kindly mute the volume on your tv set all right, uh, we lost that. Blessing, kindly, when you call us back, mute the volume on your TV set so that we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. All right, let's go back to Rachel from Ilori uh, saying that. That young man needs counseling. <laughs> okay, and then somebody needs to sit him down and find out why he's disinterested in the academics. Hmm. Okay? Um, hmm. There may be a reason. There may be. Maybe he's not cut out for that. Hmm. There has to just be a reason. He needs to be talked to. All right, this is another text saying, uh, this person said, I don't have the knowledge to read books. What can I do or what education can I oh, take? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Ginkgo by Luba can help you. Ginkgo helps to the brain. And like I said, rosemary also helps memory. And then acetylcholine, those three. Ginkgo, rosemary, acetylcholine helps, okay. the helps memory. Okay. A girl of five years old, very big in okay. nature, very fat. Is she expected to drink cold water every day? Well, um, too much, too cold water is not good. Uh, but um, cold water does not have any, any relationship, as it were, with obesity. Mm. Okay, so um, uh, she can drink water that is cold, but not too cold. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. thank you, sir. We have another call, Godwin from Edo. Hello, Godwin. Hello. Hello, yes. Thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Okay, okay thank you. Sir. Okay. Hello. Hello, well done. Thank you. Yes, my question is, uh, I have a, a forgetful memory. Mm -hmm. How do I, what do I, what do I take and how do I, so dealing with uh, memory issues mm. is both with supplements and then reducing things that dull the memory. Okay. All these food we talked about actually dull the memory. And then also it has a, you can, uh, you can just like you exercise your muscles, okay. you can exercise your brain. Mm. Okay. Uh, if you go on YouTube the, or on internet, you can see things you can do to exercise your brain activities and exercises you can do to exercise your body. All right, this is a great and interesting program. Please, how I wish this program can be repeated every night so that parents that will be back from work can get to listen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much for loving the program. God bless you. Uh, this person usually have menstrual cramps. What can this person take? Menstrual uh, cramps. That's menstrual pain. Okay. Um, uh, evening primrose. Evening okay. primrose can help um, reduce your cramps drastically. Evening primaries. And also you, you change your diet, do more exercise, or be more active, uh, they, it, will, it will go down. All right, doctor, please, can you mention some of the supplement for children and adults to take? Children. Uh, we have talked about omega-3, we have talked about cod liver oil, vitamin C, uh, magnesium, those are good for children. Adults, the same thing, magnesium, um, coenzyme Q10, um, vitamin C, mag uh, and then zinc. 
these oh. are supplements you should be on. Okay. I think um, he has mentioned a lot of it for adults and also for yes. children because yeah. a lot of parents are keep asking. And also, please, can we have Dr. Chris Williams' number display right there on the TV screen so that uh, for viewers that want to call for further questioning, you can get to call uh, Dr. Chris Williams. So we have a call. We have a caller. Uh, Fumilaya from Oshu State. This is our last caller for today. Thank you. Hello, Fumilaya. Hello, good morning, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Please, doctor, I normally have, I do have headache, and I slight headache on my head, always. I said, you know, when I take drugs, it will go later, it will come back, slight headache on my forehead. Some causes of headache could be uh, tension, it can be stress. Okay. Uh, it can be the fact that the person is not sleeping well. It can be the fact that the eyes, the, the person needs to glasses. Mm. And then it can also be hypertension. So my advice is go check your blood pressure and be sure there is no hypertension there. Mm. And then maybe see an eye doctor if it's continuing and then change your lifestyle. Becoming more active, active by doing exercises mm. can also reduce your stress and your tension. All right. Thank, yes. thank you so much, Doctor. Our time is fast spent. And at this point, um, I wish we could go on and on. Mm. I know we still have some vital information yeah. we need to pass through. Mm. Maybe in our next edition, we'll also talk about the same uh, topic just to run Something over similar. We can yeah, talk on so, autism. Mm, autism. Yeah. I think we've said that for many years ago or mm, something yeah, like that. All right, Doctor, thank you so much for coming thank on this you. program. We'll wrap thank it up with a prayer from you, sir. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for today. Thank you for how you have helped us. We commit what we have discussed in your hands. Ride on it and bring healing and succor to your people. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say a big thank you to all our viewers that tuned to Dove Television to watch this exciting edition of um, Healthy Living. I want to apologize earlier on that we started a bit uh, quite late. But we want to say thank you that uh, with this little information, you can also go on our YouTube channel to get to watch other episodes of Healthy Living. God bless you and keep your home safe. Thanks to the camera crew, to the directors, to the VCR, to the CCU, to the engineers, to the MCR, everyone who was putting effort to bring this program to come alive. Thank you and God bless you. Remember to listen to your children at all times and always uh, pray for them in the morning. Lay hands on them and tell God, this is what, what I want this child to be. Or God, let your will be done on this child. In Jesus' name, amen. My name remains Oluwafemi Odunto. Have a fantastic day ahead of you. Bye-bye.